You guys ready? Yeah. We'll start one and right. Let's start with Jeremy Dutcher. Congratulations, by the way. On what? On everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. How'd it feel? Much. Unreal. Yeah. Unreal, man. My, my family was there. My elder was there. Um, so many of my dear friends. My band was there. That's it pretty was, wild, uh, It right? was just such a beautiful evening. And uh, yeah, my first record. Your first record. My first record. <laughs> but Over the moon. But also, like, a lot of years. Yeah. A lot of years into figuring this out. Yeah. Like, how long did it take you even to find the stuff? Yeah, so this, from, I guess, inception to completion, it was about, about five years. Wow. So uh, my elder, Maggie Paul, who you're about to hear on this recording, actually, um, told me about this archive uh, that existed um, that was collected among our people 110 years ago. Um, and so she said, if you want to know about our really old songs, the traditional songs, you got to go to the museum. So I took that. Um, seed of an idea, and, and that became the album. I went to this archive, listened to these voices from 110 years ago, and then started to build arrangements around them. So, um, What's it like to listen to it? Like, when you listen to it, I'm sure the songs didn't come right to you because you're dealing with emotions, you're processing, what there's, you're processing all of that. What was that like? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it was an incredibly personal and, 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 and emotional process. You know, like some of, these, some of these voices are my family on these recordings, you know? So it's a, it's a, it's a way of connecting to my heritage and, and where I come from, but also my language as well. And where do you come from? Uh, I come from the East Coast, from, uh, from what's called New Brunswick today, but uh, we would know it as Wabanaki. Um, so yeah, um, I, I, I reside here in Toronto, but my, uh, my heart and this music, uh, lives in the East coast. Really looking forward to it. Thanks for participating tonight. My pleasure. And to be making here. this what it is. Yeah. Jeremy Dutcher. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I think about that sometimes. I'd like to learn all the songs that the people sang here. I'd like to listen to those and, and sing those. People will be singing, you know. It's not only me, there's a lot of people bringing yeah. the songs back. And when you bring the songs back, you can bring the dances back. You're gonna bring the people back. You're gonna bring everything back. Yeah. It'll be just like when we, when we first started. We brought the music back, we brought the drum back. Sweat lodges are here, teepees are already going all over the place. Wigwams, people are making wigwams. There's one else. So you think music had a lot to do with that? Oh, yeah. Bringing that back? You got that right, music. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. Really? Music will bring you.
Tahoe. Thank you, Leroy. What are you uh, What are you thinking? Where are you going when you're singing that and playing that? I'm in a different space, you know. Yeah. I'm in my living room, um, where I worked for most of my time on this uh, on this project. Um, a lot of this process was just about me trying to embody these songs again. You know, these songs were removed from our communities. I didn't know any of these songs growing up. As I've learned, it was illegal. Well, sure, yeah. You think about the potlatch ban that, that, that existed until 1951 in this country, which made sharing our songs, uh, sharing our dances and our ceremonies in public illegal. And so these were all collected within that time, you know? And so um, for me, there's a, a real importance in taking these from the museum in which they're held and in which they're kept and, and giving them back to the people in which they belong. So it's part of this album and it's part of this journey and... Uh, yeah, I'm happy to share it. So that's where I go when I when I get to hear these voices and and that they're and recorded it, alone is it, they're pro, it's protest just that they exist truly as recordings truly. Talk yeah. about the Renaissance you referred to. Yeah, uh, last night I talked, or yeah, I talked a little bit about uh, an indigenous Renaissance. Um, and I mean it, it's clear. All you need to do is look at the major artistic prizes in this country. Polaris, Gillard Prize, Sobe Prize. Indigenous excellence is on display right now. We are bringing ideas that are changing this land, and the land is changing us. Indeed. So um, it's a great time right now, and I feel like non-Indigenous Canadians are also listening in a different way now than, than hasn't been the case. And, you know, it's all sort of this iteration that, that started with those four women in Saskatchewan, you know? Adel No More brought a consciousness to this country that... I had never known, that my mother had never known, that her mother had never known. So I think it's all just been a ripple since then. You know, people like Tribe Called Red, people like Tanya Tagak, it's all coming from that place of, of centering ourselves within our artistic practice and centering our ways of knowing and our identity. As uh, in the years I've been interviewing people and when I talk to people in the arts community, indigenous artists, but even people who aren't in the arts community, just leaders I've interviewed, hmm. they've all, there's been a real suspicion and hesitation to accept this openness from Canadians. And oh, now, because you're right, people are listening differently, um, but with some reservation because it's like, but what really no is pun this? Intended. Well, no pun intended at all. <laughs> um, reservation in the, in yeah. the definition. I <laughs> yeah. totally understand. I'm just but I'm with just no gonna... reservation. Um, but this is different. Um, but is it, is it really different? Well, I, I, you know, I, 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 I'm guided by the words of the great Buffy St. Marie, who talks about you know, every 30 years, there seems to be this raise of consciousness and this understanding of indigenous issues. And then sometimes it seems to go away. A war comes. You know, we have another enemy to think about. Um, things get twisted, people go in the back room, shake, shake some hands, make some deals. Um, so I'm hopeful. I think even just talking to my mother and my grandmother, you know, they see it differently. They see it. And so I, I have to respect how they see it. Sure. You know, I, I, although I'm a deeply cynical person. <laughs> um, but change is afoot. And I think even within our own communities, we are connected in a different way. We are, you know, I think technology and social media has also allowed us uh, as indigenous people to form collectives and groups and across nations, you know. Um, you know, I live in Toronto now here, so, so a lot of my relations and a lot of my people in my community are not even from my, my nation, you know. Yeah, yeah. And we don't speak the same language and yet we're tied together through this sort of like common understanding of, of what has happened in this place. Well, I'm grateful that you're here sharing these stories. Thank you so much. Yeah. What are you going to play next? So this next one is, um, it's, a, it's a song by Joni Mitchell, a uh, great Canadian songstress. Indeed. Um, she has a birthday. It's uh, going to be a big one. Coming up. Yeah. 75, I believe. 75, yeah. 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 Um, but long way she runs. 75 is not even half her age, right? <laughs> She's going to go to at least 150. Truly. We truly. hope. Joni you know, 150. If we're going to ever yeah. sell it. <laughs> that's the only way we celebrate 150 in yeah, this country right. is if Joni gets to be 150. That's right. right. That's right. May that be the or truth. Or Neil. Like, yeah. let Neil be 150 too. That's fine. <laughs>
<laughs> Definitely. So um, I just gotta. Uh. It's super hot in here. It's so hot in here. And, uh, I don't like air conditioning. I'm trying to be environmentally I conscious. I know, I know. Sucks, and bless man. you for it. No, yeah. fuck climate change. I want air conditioning. <laughs> That's what I want. Um, right. So, so this track, um, I got this weird email um, from a woman. Um, and she said, oh, I have something to share with you and I want to meet you. So can we, can we find a time to meet? And usually I don't, I don't mess with that because you never know. Um, <laughs> But for some reason, I felt really called to like, just to know maybe the way she reached out or, or whatever it was. But, but I said, okay, let's, let's meet at this you know, cafe around the corner. And, and so we met and she says, uh, I'm one of Joni Mitchell's childhood friends. I heard about your music and I showed it to Joni. You know, she's always had a connection with, with First Nations people, with, uh, with indigenous people. Um, and so I really want you to perform at her birthday. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I can. She was like one of those advocates, you know, people that like are really, yeah. really pulling for, for something. And so she, she manifested the nice. heck out of it. And, uh, and yeah, called the right people and got it. But, but she said, have you ever heard this song? It's called Cherokee Louise. And um, so she told me the story about this song um, in that Joni Mitchell actually had a, a childhood friend um, who was indigenous. Um, although I must say in this moment that I don't know if she was Cherokee, and no. given the location, I highly doubt it. <laughs> and I thought, I thought. She could have moved. She could have moved. She could have moved. Right. She could have moved. Yeah. But I also thought, you know, in that territory would maybe be either Dene or Cree. So maybe I could do like a Dene Cree Louise. You wish. Hey, listen, man, <laughs> the streets are littered with the bodies of people who try to change Joni Mitchell lyrics. So, oh. so just. I'm just kidding. I would never. I would never. So I'm going to do it at Cherokee Louise, but okay. just full acknowledgement that I don't believe Louise to be Cherokee. Uh, but as I started to dig into this, okay, so I, I said, okay, yeah, Joni has a, in, a song with indigenous content. Cool. I want to be. I want to be in that. You yeah. know, I want to. I want to feel my way around that. So, um, yeah, I went home and I, I started listening and and came to understand the story behind, behind this. And, and I think it's really talking about a couple of critical issues right now, um, which is um, the amount of our children that are in uh, foster care and in the system um, and are taken from families. Um, higher rates now than, than at the height of the 60s scoop, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I think so, so Louise was, a, was, was in foster care, um, and she was also living on the street as well um, after that. And so I think this is a, something our community really grapples with. You, know? uh, you don't have to go too far to see uh, the intergenerational effects of what has happened in this country and how it has left certain people out of the equation. So um, I sing this for them, and uh, I sing this too for Joni. And uh, this is called Cherokee Louise. I've never performed this before. First time, so. <laughs> uh, I also got two hours of sleep. Right. So uh, we may That's need more, to do. It's more than I thought you were going to get after winning, so. We may need to do a couple takes. But, All good. Um, let's go. Well, 
like to talk, the tongues are wagging over fences, wagging over phones. All oh, the doors are locked, she can't even come to our house, but I know where she'll go. Since we turned 13, it's like a minefield walking through the door. Going out, you get the third degree, and coming in, you get the third one. Whoa. Tuesday after school, we put our pennies on the rails, and when the train went by. Jumping around like fools, go and look, no heads or tails. Go and look, my lucky prize. She runs home to her foster dad. He opens up his zipper and he asks her to her knees. Won't somebody please help her? Cherokee. about uh, jamming with everybody else. To, you ready to do it? Yeah, yeah. Let's bring up Sardino's Res Kids, everyone. How did Polaris feel to you guys last night? Everybody, how did it feel? Oh, it was surreal, man. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it was empowering, especially having Doc Laquan up there and our girl Celia. Yeah. Of course, DJ Cookham, we bring our family everywhere we go. <laughs> what, are you gonna, what are you gonna play? What's, what are you gonna play? Uh, first song I'm gonna do is called Dead Chiefs. And guys, yeah. if you guys know the lyrics to the hook, don't be, don't be shy to sing along, all right? Uh, just follow my lead. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are the Snotty Nose Res Kids. I go by the name of Young D. And I go by the name of Young Tribes. We're honored and proud to be here today on Toronto. Us ourselves, we come from the people of the snow in the 250, that's Northwest British Columbia. And due to being some nates in the Maple Leaf, and with our beliefs, 
We decided to do a song for y'all. That's for all the dead chiefs living in the sky. Hear our pride one time. Let's go like this. Hey, this for all my dead chiefs. Hey, hey, this for all my dead chiefs. Here go, yo, Geronimo. I'm so many if you ain't know. I don't need reservations when I'm straight up out the res, yo. It's go time, homie, let's go. No, I got a deck when it pays most. AOG, man, we keep it ever original. This young and skinny boy, we'll busy dipping on boy. I put the team on my back, though. Hey, we gon' ride or die on me. High bees in the trap, but my hair slayed back like I'm easy. -E. Who rock the spot? D drop it like it's hot, that's with the AC. I'm stacking curry, you shacked in a fool that you fail, McKee. Let's get real for a minute. I'ma grind till I shine, best believe I'm committed. I'ma slide those res kid up to the finish with the heart of a champ. We don't quit until we get it. It's a brave with my blood, and man, it takes guts. Take a look around, homeboy, it's just us. We're big on bust, ain't no time for rust. With my day one fam, and my day we trust. Happy Gilmore, I'm trying to make the big bucks. I go hard to the core, that's from dawn to dust. Sad to say, I'm a boy, got big nuts. Put the rock in my hand, I'm the man in the clutch now. For all the land and peace Forgotten ones that been deceased At the top of our family tree Hey, sing it with me now This for all my dead chiefs Hey, sing it with me now This for all my dead chiefs Here go young sitting boy My love for my people unconditional And you know I'm living in the city But I'm keeping it traditional Young aboriginal Living as a criminal And they said go cut your brains I ain't having it I'm sticking to the man like my dad
I'ma bring it way back to a time we were winning, man. I'm thinking of a time where before we win, yeah. Way back. When the villagers were killing it, then the man came and dragged out the visit. Tried to kill us off, but we failed to diminish. Now they're killing off our land like business is business. Fuck your pipelines, man. We about to get vicious. I'm, I'm a warrior at heart, heart, but I'm dealing with grief. Dealing defeat as I stand with the chiefs. Fuck your beliefs about reconciliation. We're trying to stand up from the fall of a nation. Eight generations serving out of sentences. Own out of rest. I'll forever be a resident. I mean, no offense, but I gotta represent all the chiefs that we lost. Fuck the dead president. It's for all my dead chiefs that bled for all the land in peace. Forgotten ones that been deceased at the top of our family tree. Hey, hey, this for all my dead chiefs. Hey. This for all my dead chiefs. Hey, sing hey. with me. This for all my dead chiefs. Hey, sing it with me now. This for all my dead chiefs. <laughs> Now I say Brady 
Hi, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are the Snotty Nose Reds kids. I go by the name of Young D. And I go by the name of Young Tribes. The beautiful ladies on the guitar. Make some noise for partner, y'all. The beautiful, the beautiful Jeremy Dutcher, ladies and gentlemen. He's in the house. And last but not least, our sis in the back. Give it up for DJ Coco. Yeah, I think we should do that one more time. You ready? Look. Hey. As Jeremy lays draped over the piano, <laughs> exhausted, waving, no, no, dude. Now, quickly, give us your best Freddie Mercury. Go. Your best queen, your best queen. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's perfect. perfect. 
All right, give, I can't do that. <laughs> pre, give us your best ACDC. Give us your best ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> Now your best Eminem, <laughs> your best Lil Wayne. <laughs> what do you got? My best Lil Wayne. Give us your best verse. Acapella? Anything? Yeah. All right, cool. Check it. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna slow it down so y'all can hear me, all right? It goes like this. A young un go stupid and dumb. Cause that's how we do where I'm from. No, no, I don't live by the gun. But yet I still love the shotgun. Like Metro don't trust you, nah. I'm chiefing on la 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 la. Ain't worry about na 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 na. Mama say, mama saw, mama maku saw. Word. Long hair and bandana, let's keep it 3,000 like the boy from Atlanta. That's an arcade, the brown on the banana. And I'm pledging my name like Kappa and Gamma. The ways that I talk, I got me some rest grammar. We saw my name, my grandma, his grandma. We'll put up these banners, God damn it, I'm savage. And that's how you hit on the nose with a hammer. Like, woo! Watch <laughs> Lord crazy like Shady when he would pop pills on the daily. I need you been Swayze, I know that already. And I be throwed up like my old spaghetti creator. I'm ready, I'm on the road to my first 40. I call that Fonz Rally. I pay no mind to the petty. Cause there ain't shit you could tell me, I'm young and yeah. <laughs>